Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Sagir. Uh, what I do for a living, um, uh, I'm a doctor, uh, I'm a hospitalist, I work in Pensacola. Uh, I knew about Dr. Galani uh, through Google search, uh, and actually my brother who did the search, my twin brother uh, who had his eyes done uh, last month uh, and had excellent results, he recommended me. I recommended Dr. Golani to me, and that's why I'm here. Uh, let me give you a little background of uh, myself uh, as far as my vision. Uh, I'm one of uh, nine uh, siblings uh, from Jordan. Uh, we all uh, suffer uh, nearsightedness. Uh, but me, uh, my brother and I, we both uh, suffer the most minus uh, 17 with high uh, stigmatism uh, plus uh, we have uh, what we call uh, keratoconus basically the, our cornea is uh, it has a cone shape uh, and, the, uh, and the, the cornea is kind of bulged uh, outward uh, we've been looking for options uh, for a long time we went to doctors uh, and Jordan as well as in the United States and uh, LASIK was not an option for us because of the thin cornea and the severe and nearsightedness. And as I said earlier, we get to know Dr. Golani uh, and thank God uh, he's, he's an amazing doctor, uh, artist, he knows what he's doing uh, and, uh, and I just had my both eyes done and I'm already seeing better than uh, 2020 on both eyes. So to me, this is a life changing. You know, I get to wake up every morning, see my kids, uh, enjoy uh, my life with them, you know, do more activities, swimming, playing soccer. Uh, I have a twin boys, uh, they're two year old. And, uh, this pretty much changed my life. Uh, thank you, Dr. Golani. And let me tell you a little bit more about Dr. Gulani. He's, he's an amazing doctor. He's, he's uh, more than a, a doctor-patient uh, relationship. He, uh, I felt like I was, I was a friend to him more than a patient. And he did an amazing job to my eyes uh, to get him corrected where they are right now. Uh, I can't thank him a lot. Uh, thank you, Dr. Gulani. Uh, I forgot to mention also, uh, I, I did have the uh, chance to look at Dr. Gulani operating on some of the patients here in his office where they flew from all over the world, from Canada, from uh, Asia, and there were very complex surgeries uh, where he had to remove scarring from eyes. Uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing what he does. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention about my brother, he's also a doctor, uh, and we both do the same thing. Uh, so he had to have his eyes done so I can cover him, and then I had my eyes done so he was covering me in the hospital. And he's already uh, doing good uh, as far as uh, looking at the computer, because uh, we spend a lot of time sitting in front of the computer looking at patient charts and reviewing uh, results and things like that. And uh, to forget also, uh, when I come to the Dr. Golani's office, I feel like I'm in my practice. You know, his, he has an amazing staff. They all greet you with the, your first name. Uh, they know you and, uh, and I'm really jealous that he has the staff in his, in his office. So Tariq, uh, great to see you right now. You just had your ICL surgery for extreme nearsightedness. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel, I feel uh, great after I had my surgery done. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I had told my story multiple times. You know, uh, I had severe uh, nearsightedness and uh, I had uh, went to multiple doctors before I get to know Dr. Gulani uh, and uh, nobody, uh, they don't know I was in candidate for any type of uh, procedure because the extreme uh, uh, nearsightedness was minus 17 with, with high stigmatism as well as the, uh, a condition called the keratoconus uh, which is 
basically, the corn is uh, the corn shape. Nothing can be done about it. The, the, as far as what I was told, sure. you know, to me, Tarek, I, I hate that sentence. Nothing can be done. You know, I feel every patient can deserve the best vision they have, as long as the doctor comes up with a plan designed to them. Sure. It's uh, the problem is if if a doctor does only cookie cutter, same same surgery, that's when they cannot fit the patient. In. I think the surgery has to be designed to the patient gives me immense pleasure. I mean, you are a physician yourself. Uh, I just operated on your brother, who's also a physician and a twin. <laughs> and both of you, he's doing great with the ICL technique and you too, and with your keratoconus. I think for extreme nearsightedness, the ICL technology is, is excellent. Like in your case, not only did you come from, what was your vision before surgery? You couldn't even see the E. Exactly, yeah. Basically, I, mean, I, have to, I have to wear the glasses all the time. And get around and uh, look at my kids and uh, and even uh, do simple stuff. You know, I can't, uh, I couldn't do at all. And what's your vision now? Oh, so uh, you're leaving to go home. It's, yeah, actually, it's better than 2020. Amazing. Uh, and I had to actually give up a lot of activities because of my severe uh, uh, myopia. But now I think you know it's uh, uh, giving me the chance to go back and you know, do some of the activities. You're a privileged, Tarek. So, I mean, to me, it's a real pleasure, especially when I see you, all the other patients you saw too. Yesterday, you were watching other patients' surgeries. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, really a pleasure to be here traveling back to the West Coast. Um, give my regards to your brother. Yeah, He's covering for you in the hospital. Now, right? <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. And, you know, ICL technology is actually has been around for over 15, 20 years. Right. In the U.S., it got approved in 2005. And as you know, we were chatting that day, Dr. Fyodorov is the one who invented it. So, uh, and that's the first <coughs> ICL. And he had gifted me this uh, 20 years ago, 1996. And that's how it used to come in a bottle. And that's the lens, he called it Beautiful Eyes. So that's Dr. Fyodorov. He actually invented radial keratotomy in Russia. So, today we get to use that technology and uh, it's a privilege because ICL can not only be used for extreme cases like you, keratoconus, high myopia, high nearsightedness, high astigmatism, but also com combination with LASIK, it's called myoptics. I've done cases where you put the ICL and then do LASIK on top. It can be used also for as an alternative to LASIK, like for low myopia, because it actually gives you a line better. Right. Because optically it's at the nodal point of the eye. It's like a contact lens you put in and you're not having to worry about it. And um, the other category of these technologies is, think about it, in a young patient, even a very far-sighted person can have this. That's still not approved in the US, but it's a technology we know is existence coming. Yes. So, it's been a real pleasure. I saw your, here, saw your kids, the twins, uh, have fun with them. Yeah, thank you. I was safe to back much. to the West Coast. I yeah, appreciate Absolutely what you pleasure. have done to me and to my brother. An honor. Sure. Thank you. Yeah.